Hey everyone, happy Friday, happy bank holiday as well, and welcome back to Kitchen Cocktails. Seeing as it is a bank holiday, I thought I'd make two drinks today, so I'm going to do the South Side Fizz and I'm going to do a Red Snapper as well. Two great gin cocktails, they both got great stories behind them, varying stories as well. The Red Snapper itself, born as the Bloody Mary back in the 1920s in Harry's Bar in Paris again. It wasn't for a number of years later until it resurfaced in New York and was ordered by a Russian prince but with gin instead of vodka. He preferred the taste that gin brought to the drink. The hotel owner over there at the time didn't like the name Bloody Mary and hence the Red Snapper was born. And the rest, as they say, is history. The South Side Gin, again, a few stories around this one, but my favourite has to be from the South Side of Chicago. From Al Capone and his gangsters who were peddling illegal booze at the time. And it's said that their favourite tipple was illegally imported gin along with sugar, citrus, mint and soda. And hence, the South Side Fizz was born. So, we're going to start off with the Red Snapper. I'm going to use one of my trusty jars again and what I've done is I've filled it almost half full with tomato juice. What I want to do is I want to put 60 mils of gin in here as well and I am using Darnley's Spiced Gin, which is fantastic in a Red Snapper. To measure in, using my trusty measuring spoons again. And we want four of these spoonfuls into our jar. I want to put some lemon juice in here as well, so freshly squeezed lemon juice. About 25 mils. So on the second spoon, just a little bit short at the top. And I want about 10 mils of sugar syrup as well. Now you can pop a bottle of celery salt in there. It's not always easy to get, so a bit of salt and pepper is what I'm going to use. A nice pinch or two. And then we want to put some spices in as well. So I am going to use my Tabasco and my Liam Perrins from the cupboard. So I like about five or six dashes of Liam Perrins and on my Tabasco I like it spicy so quite a few dashes of this. Now some people might shake this over ice I prefer to actually just give it a nice gentle turn in the jar or the shaker. Just binds it nice and easily together. Doesn't over dilute it with any ice. Just gets all those flavors working really well together. So nice and gentle. Quite a few turns for 10 to 15 seconds. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this to one side for a moment while we get started on our south side fizz. Again, got a nice jar here, and I'm gonna use Darnley's original, and I want 60 mils. Next we want about 25 mils of lime juice, so again one full spoon and then a little bit short from the top on the second spoon and then some sugar, so 15 mils of sugar. Next thing we want to do is we want to put a handful of mint leaves in as well and then about half full with ice. Want to gently bruise the mint in there, get all the flavours moving, give it a shake for about 10 seconds. Once that's shaken, we want to start double straining that into a glass. So I'm going to use a highball. Fill this with ice. in. I want to balance our lid nice and easily like this for the first strain and then the kitchen sieve. I 
and just gently pour into the glass. Really refreshing drink this. Make it a mess. And then we want to top this up with some soda water, so nice and easy. And then final touch, garnish on there. I'm going to use a nice sprig of mint. And there we go. The perfect south side fizz for sipping in the garden or in the house, wherever you like. We're going to finish off on the red snapper now. So we're going to use a highball again. And what I have prepared is some salt and pepper onto a napkin. And you just want to coat the rim in a bit of lemon. Just halfway round the glass. Nice optional garnish, should you want to. Fill the glass with ice. And then just give this another little turn. And then we're going to pour this in to our glass. We have a little bit left over for some seconds as well. Final touch on this, bit of celery, get it into the glass. And there we have it. We've got red snapper, we've got south side fizz, perfect drinks for the bank holiday weekend. Try them at home, make sure you tag us, let us know how you get on, but enjoy the drinks and enjoy your weekend. Cheers.